Put that right there. Okay, you both ready? Yeah, we ready. Okay, now, Pop, now you have to remember, you have to act as if you are a happily married couple. I know. And, Pop, you gotta act like you're the man of the house. I know. And like you love Aunt Esther. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> in swimsuit competition. Let's hear it out there for our seven semi-finalists. I think she should be the winner. Pop. Pop! Uh, this, this dumb is not my son. And that beautiful lady in the polka dot, the swimsuit is not his aunt. But you get away from here. Is that any way to talk to a stranger, dummy? <laughs> Sit down. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the judge's decision on the three finalists, and here they are. Mrs. Esther Anderson! <laughs> Lucille Brown! <laughs> Mrs. Esther Anderson! <laughs> Mrs. Mabel Johnson! <laughs> and last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, our third semi finalist is Esther Anderson! <laughs> Esther Anderson! down to the final category on the judging, ladies and gentlemen, the talent competition. You other ladies, if you would please go get ready. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> come on, Fred, come on. I've just been informed by Mrs. Anderson that she will be assisted in the talent competition by her singing partner, Mr. Ted Sanford. That's Fred Sanford. <laughs> Fred Sanford. G. <laughs> Fred Sanford G. You <laughs> big dummy. What are you staring at? I'm not staring. I'm just looking at you. I can look at my own son, can't I? Yeah, but it's making me uncomfortable. Okay, then. I won't bother you. Finish your lunch. Thank you. Hi, son. What are you doing? I'm just, I'm just looking at you. Look, you, you fixed me a nice lunch over here. Now, at least you can let me eat it in peace. OK, OK. I won't bother you. Thank you. comparing hand sizes, what it look like. What is this comparing hand sizes and staring at me? How come you're acting so weird today? I'm not acting weird. I'm acting like a father because I feel fatherly. <laughs> don't, don't you feel sonnily? <laughs> I feel like I'm never gonna finish this chicken noodle and tuna all right. 
I'll get that. Yeah, why don't you do that? I mean, like did you say, why don't you do that, Pop? You realize you haven't called me Pop all day? Would you see who that is, Pop? I sure would appreciate it, Pop. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pop. <laughs> now there, there's three Pops, okay, Pop? That, that's fine, son. I, I'll see you at the door, son. I hope somebody's going to see, son. <laughs> yeah, that's my son. Okay, nobody. I really do hope it's somebody we want to see. But you know what? Son, son of a gun. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, how you feel? I feel fine, Fred. And I ain't got no money to loan you. If that's why you asked me over here, I might as well go. No, wait a minute. I ain't asked you over here to borrow no money. If I wanted some money, I'd ask you over the phone. Yeah. Hello there, Ernestine. Hello, Lamont. Hey, Pop, uh, I gotta make a few pickups on the truck. I'll be right back. Okay, son. Uh, take it easy, son. And be careful, son. Uh, bye, son. Now, what you call me over here for, friend? Uh, uh, sit down, Esther. Take the load off. <laughs> Let's get it over with, Fred. I don't like being alone in the house with an unmarried man. <laughs> If we were alone on a raft in the middle of the ocean, I'd rather kiss an octopus in the mouth. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to kiss me. I'd rather be kissed by a snag or two jackass. <laughs> Call St. Louis and get you one. Oh, go kiss your octopus. No. Well, listen, neither one of us don't have to worry about nothing like that. Now, now listen here, Esther. I just want to have a confidential conversation with you about Elizabeth. My sister Elizabeth? No, your brother Elizabeth. <laughs> of course, your sister and my wife. Now, look, Esther, this is just between me and you. Now, I want to know, uh, did, did Elizabeth ever dilly-dally while we were married? What's a dilly-dally? <laughs> well, you know what I mean. It's like, did she fool around? Fred Sanford, you ought to be ashamed to even let something like that come out of your heatenous mouth. <laughs> My baby sister was as pure as the driven snow. Yeah, but who was doing the driving? Well, uh, hello, son. Hello. If you don't say something to him about that cash register, I'm going to ring up a no sale knot on your head. <laughs> Can I talk to you both for a minute? Hey, Woody, back off there. He wants to talk to me and Esther a minute. What? Just a minute, mister. I want to talk to them. Here's all the money back. Why, thank you, son, but why did you take it in the first place? Because I've been around long enough, and I've been in trouble too many times, and I know a bad case when I see one. And that weirdo over there with the legs like parentheses <laughs> is up to no good. <laughs> What's so funny? That weirdo is your new Uncle Fred. That's Lamont's father. <laughs> hey, come here, Fred. Say, <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Daniel wasn't stealing our money. He was trying to protect us from you. But why would he do that? Because he's been around criminals long enough to know undesirables. <laughs> well, he ought to feel right at home here. <laughs> uh, say, Daniel, uh, say hello to Uncle Fred. What's happening, Uncle Fred? Uncle Fred this. <laughs> Well, Daniel, this is it. And someday, this will all be yours. Thank you. Oh, can I have her now? <laughs> what you mean, Snookums? Snookums? <laughs> Dora Snookums. <laughs> Don't worry, Esther. Not just because I happen to think that she's cute and pretty and, and sweet and charming. That doesn't mean that I like her better than you just because you're not. Oh. <laughs> I'll deal 
with you later. Oh. <laughs> right now, let's all go up and get ready, because I got a surprise for you. Oh, I like surprises. Good. Some of the ladies from my church is coming over tonight to welcome Daniel to the community. I hate surprises. <laughs> Shut up, Woodrow. Come on, darling. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello there. Oh, <laughs> uh, ladies, meet our son, Daniel. Hello, hello Daniel. Daniel. Woodrow, aren't you going to say hello to the ladies? Hello, sisters. Good evening, brother. How, How are you, Woodrow? You're looking healthy for a man of your age. Oh, and might I say the same for you? Thank you. As a matter of fact, I hope I look that well when I'm 70. <laughs> I beg your pardon, but I'll have you to know that I haven't seen my 50th birthday. Oh, well, I did. I saw your 50th birthday. <laughs> and it was 20 years ago, if I recall. Woodrow, if you don't shut your double-breasted lips, you're going to look off for the rest of your life. Sister Yes? We have a little presentation we would like to make. Yes, Sister Simpson. To Daniel. Will it be Anderson? Well, uh, it takes about a year before the uh, adoption becomes final. But if he decides to stay, then it'll be Daniel Anderson forever. Well, suppose you don't want me at the end of the year. Oh, son, that's out of the question. I want you now. And a year from now, I want you 365 times more. <laughs> well, just give it to him like it is, sister. Give him what, Sister Cooper? This Bible. See, it has his name inscribed on it. Daniel Anderson. Son, bring it to church with you every Sunday when you come. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful, darling? Yeah, it's a real nice present. And I'll keep it to read. But I won't be coming to church. What? <laughs> you see, I don't believe in God. Oh! oh! <laughs> hey, Pop, you and I asked you better hurry up and get in here. All right, we hurry. Put that right there. Okay, you both ready? Yeah, we ready. Okay, now, Pop, now you have to remember, you have to act as if you're a happily married couple. I know. And, Pop, you gotta act like you're the man of the house. I know. And like you love Aunt Esther. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you promised Fred Sanford. I know, I know. There they are now, look. Now, Pop, you get the door, and I'm gonna go in here and stay in the bedroom with, with Uncle Woody. No, no, no matter what you do, don't let him come in the bedroom. Right. Okay? Coming! Oh! <laughs> how, how do you do? Well, how do you do? I'm Mrs. Sherman of the Adoption Agency. Oh, how nice. I'm Mrs. Anderson. And this is my beloved husband, Woodrow. <laughs> Woodrow, meet Mrs. Sherman. <laughs> Woodrow. Woodrow! What are you doing, Esther? Uh, yes, dear. Uh, shut up, Polly. Uh, I, I, I see you have a parrot. Oh, yes, we thought it'd be nice for the child to have a home with a pet in it. Oh, I agree with that. Well, uh, thanks a lot. I'm glad that you agreed with what I agreed on that you agreed with. And I think it'd give me a privilege to say it later on somewhere and give you a chance to agree with me again. Yes. <laughs> would you like a cup of coffee? No, thank you. A uh, cup of soup? No. What would Can you I like? Can I get anything for you? I beg your pardon? What would you like? Ten on the rock. <laughs> Polly want a punch in the beak? <laughs> you see, Mr. Sherman, uh, Woodrow just loves to joke with our parrot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> May I see your bird? <laughs> you watch it, Woodrow. <laughs> you see, Mrs. Sherman, our bird is very shy. And I'm afraid if you look at him, he might become frightened. Then he wouldn't want to meet anyone new like our child. Well, that's awfully thoughtful of you. You seem very anxious to have this child. 
Oh, we are. We think we make wonderful parents. Well, you just might. You see, Mrs. Anderson, we find the most important thing is for the child to come into a loving home. Oh, this is the most loving home. Oh, yes, it is. Isn't it poopsie whoopsie? <laughs> I think I'm a whoopsie all over my poopsie. Oh, my, that is cute. You two really are cute. And this place seems so homey. Will you show me around? Why, of course. Now, this room, by the way, is the living room. And that room is where Poopsie and I sleep. But if you say we can have the child, we're gonna get a pull-out bed and put in here for us and go get the child our bedroom. Now, that's wonderful. You know, I just can't imagine why you shouldn't be allowed to adopt a child. <laughs> show me the room where the child will be sleeping. Oh, wait a minute, the parrot is in there. But the parrot isn't more important than the child, right? Why, no, of course, but... Uh, Good day, madam, and thank you for dropping in. Hey, Woody. Hey, Fred. Say, I got this invitation to dinner from Esther. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Esther is so lovable, so warm. She's such a, such a, such a thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, listen to this, Fred. Roses are red, mustards are green. Come over for dinner and we'll lick our plates clean. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hello, Woodrow, darling. Well, hello, Esther. Thanks for the dinner invitation. Invitation? Uh, but I thought listen, you... Listen, uh, why don't the two of y'all... Esther, come around here and sit down, honey. Oh. Sit down right here. Okay. Hey, sit down, Woodrow. Uh, listen. Uh, <clears throat> see, uh, this is the best dinner I ever fixed in my life for y'all. Know what I'm having? Oysters Rockefeller and spaghetti <laughs> under glass. <laughs> and for dessert, something continental. Uh, Twinkies Flambe. <laughs> Well, listen, you, you two get together and enjoy yourself. I'll be right back. Oh, Fred, you didn't have to go to all this trouble. I know that. Just enjoy the champagne there, darling. Champagne? Nothing but the best. Nothing but the best from your husband, Woody. French wine. Straight from the <laughs> vineyards of J.C. Penney. <laughs> I guess I did, Esther. Oh, Woodrow, how do I really look? Oh, you look just like a big bouquet of flowers. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Lady, <laughs> 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 isn't that romantic? Cool in hand. That's nice. I'll be back. Hey. Look at you, son. They holding hands, and Woodrow ain't even wearing his work gloves. <laughs> I never you ever know when to stop. Fred, Lamont, I'm happy to announce that Esther and I are getting back together. Hey, see that thing? I knew what I was doing. Fred Sanford, the king of hearts. Come in. Hi, I'm Jackie, Laverne's sister. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jackie, the very sister. That's right. She said there's a fellow over here who wants to swing. Where is he? Uh, swing? Yeah. <laughs> it must be some mistake. Start talking, Woody. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's no mistake, I'd like for you to meet Fred Sanford, your gypsy prince. No, yeah. come on. Oh, he's cute. Where are you keeping it? In this piggy bank? <laughs>